mean, it's been tough. Like, obviously, uh, you know, we haven't been able to skate at all, so I really haven't been on the ice. Um, I do have a pair of roller blades. Like, um, there's these blades called uh, Mars blades, and you can put them on your actual skates and, uh, and skate around. So I've done that a couple times. I have a stick and ball. Um, been stick handling with the hockey ball around the house. Um, but besides that, not too much. Just trying to almost treat it like the off season a little bit, like take some time off, get away, and then I'm sure we'll have more than enough time to, to get back into it and um, uh, have some practice time before we start playing, if we start playing. Yeah, so I've been playing uh, a little bit of NHL, um, NHL 20. I've been playing this, uh, this game me and my buddies like to play. It's called the Golf Club 2019. Um, and then I just downloaded uh, Call of Duty Warzone. So, uh, like, before this all started, I probably hadn't played video games in the past five or six years. So I'm, like, pretty rusty on them. I used to play a lot as a kid. Um, I would say I'm okay at NHL. I think I'm probably one of the best out of my friends and, and my buddies in the golf club game. And then Call of Duty, I'm just, like, like terrible. Like, I played it the other day for the first time. And... Um, you know, didn't even have a chance out there. So I got to learn that one a little bit, but um, yeah, it's fun. It helps the time go by a little bit. And it's kind of fun to, to be on there with your buddies and talk to them through the headset and things like that. No, I'll switch it up a little bit. Um, I try not to play too, too much as myself, to be honest with you. Like uh, we play online a lot. So like, I don't know, five or six of us will hook up and then um, we all kind of have our guy and we play our position while uh, while being uh, hooked up online. So it's kind of like your, your created guy or um, uh, I guess the guy that you kind of develop over time that you're that you're using online. So we do that a lot. That's pretty much uh, how I play most of the time. Even when I'm playing, like my buddies are kind of laugh. Like I can hear them laughing through the, the mic sometimes because like I wasn't really uh, at first I wasn't really uh, um, smart enough to know like how big the body checks were in the game so like they're pretty unrealistic body checks like guys get like hammered and blown up and uh, I was getting blown up a lot to start and I was almost like I was playing it like real hockey like I take the puck over the line and, and turn up and try and like hit the late guy coming in instead of like you know this game's a lot about like stick handling and dangling and um, a lot of like one, one timer goals, obviously too, but, um, I was getting like blown up, um, my first couple times on and, uh, the guys were laughing pretty hard at me. I mean, all of them kind of have their own memories. I think 2010 was probably, um, I would say the craziest because, you know, guys were just, we were just so young. We had a lot of single guys on the team. We had a lot of guys that were kind of like really enjoying the moment. And that was our first time too. So um, we didn't really know what to expect and we were just taking it and running with it. It was just, um, it was a lot of fun after. Um, obviously when you're in the playoffs and you're winning, you don't realize what you're going to go through with like parade and, you know, taking a cup all over the city and, um, you know, obviously being with the guys for like, the next like two weeks uh, in Chicago, taking it around. It was a lot of fun that first time we went. I think when you win the Stanley Cup, it's like it's all about the team. It's um, you're really enjoying it with like 23 other guys. I think you know you have to have a good team to win the Hart Trophy too, and usually you have to be in the playoffs or um, one of the top teams in the league. But you know when you win an award like that, it's like a, it's more of a personal accolade. It was pretty pretty cool for me to uh, to win that year and then have Panarin win the Rookie of the Year. So we got to like celebrate a little bit together, and then you know you have a bunch of family and friends there as well. So um, got to spend some time with them and just kind of like soak in the moment after and uh, realize how great of a year, year it was like personally on the ice. And I think once you win an award like that, it's like kind of etched in stone, right? Like no one can ever take that away from you. Kind of the same thing with the Stanley Cup too, but um, you're celebrating that with, you know, 23 other guys in the organization. And um, uh, yeah, it's a little bit different, but I would say one's a lot more personal than the other. Usually when I'm going down, I try to have like something in my mind that, you know, I'm gonna gonna do or something that, you know, if I see everything 
going correctly, then then I would stick to that. Um, whether that's coming in from a from a certain angle or having the idea of you know sometimes in the street I like to kind of skate down fast and then stop up and kind of wait and see what's what's given to me. So you have that in your mind what you're gonna do, but uh, usually you have a couple things that maybe you try to go off instinct and do something at the last second if you see something different. So just kind of let your mind uh, make that decision for you. But yeah, I think uh, it's always nice to have something in your mind before you go down to just kind of stick to that if, it's, if you uh, if you see what you want. Yeah, I, I, you know, after I said that, I kind of thought about it a little bit, and um, I didn't, I didn't want that to. Uh, I don't know if it came across the right way. Like, I mean, I played on like those years from 2009 to 2015 for me. Like that was, it was so fun playing in the playoffs and being able to go deep with those teams in the playoffs and uh, playing on winning Stanley Cup champion teams. Like that's that's as fun as it's gonna get. When I was playing with Panarin, I felt like I, for me that was like personally just like this is how hockey should be played. Like this was, you know, two players just like combining their talents and having the chemistry of just. Um, like, like basically back to your question, it wasn't really like anything was planned or, or uh, set in stone. We just kind of like figured it out on the goal. And then, you know, after like 10 or 15 games, you figure out the spots you want to go to. Um, he always kind of stayed on the left side of the ice. I stayed on the right side. If one of us got moving, we could do a lot of like crisscrossing and things like that. And it became like uh, pretty natural playing with them. And uh, yeah, it was really, really fun hockey for those two years. Like. For me personally, like that was the that was like uh, the most chemistry I probably had with someone, just like just like natural, instinctive chemistry to, to play that hockey with someone. So I'm I'm glad I got to do that with him. I would probably have to say I would have to say McKinnon because I just think he's he's a force like. Pretty much every shift he's out there in, in every game, and yeah, they got some good players on their team, but he really he really drives the engine there, and they're a really good team too, and he's probably the main reason. So um, I would have to go with him. Like I, I guess the first one that comes to mind is probably, like we play against him a lot in Colorado. I would say Rantanen. I mean, he's kind of an all-star as well. Like he's had some some big numbers, but uh, he could probably be even better than he has has been so far in his early career.